vastly underestimate Vidal? I think so. I think that's exactly what happened. Um, even though they had had this prior history, you know, Vidal came in loaded for bear and Buckley was caught off guard. Buckley relied on his natural skills, which were in full swing, but weren't enough, I don't think. I mean, you know, you ask, people ask who won. And clearly, when Buckley loses his cool in the penultimate debate, he, he, loses, the, he loses the series of debates. But Buckley's ideas went on from 1968 to gain strength until 1980 when Reagan was elected, and they were paramount. You know, Buckley's ideas were really paramount for a long time. And it's interesting for Buckley to have lived to see the circle come back around and that notion of kicking out the John Birch society from the conservative movement. I think it's so insightful what one of the things that Sam Tannenhaus says in the movie that it's not the right fighting the far left, it's the right fighting those who are not far enough right. And Buckley lived to see that come around and see himself get booted because he wasn't far enough to the right. Well, he seems positively moderate now. <laughs> Absolutely. If not incredibly intelligent and well-informed. <laughs> I think that's the great thing is, you know, just to see these two guys having it out at that level. Yeah. You know, the even the insults are at such a higher <laughs> level, you know. It's it was a it was a thrill to see it and and I love that it's you know caught the wind it's caught the lift of an audience because they appreciate that that level.